running for like four hours. Look at my face, look how dirty it is. This tunnel is open, thankfully. The previous one was closed, and that gave us a detour of about an hour. Amazing view. The nicest room. So the journey begins. Next stop. Picking up my baggage. I can get some tea or coffee over here. Got checked into the hotel. It's like I'll show you the hotel later. But want to pick up the bike right now. The experience is starting right now. We're at a place called Chand Chandigal. Never heard of Chandigal. Believe it or not, they actually have a Harley dealership over here. That's a place to rest. If you wanted some music, here we go. All I need is to choose. Picking up, picking up my Royal Elfin, the, the Himalayan right now. Look how cool. That's the one I'm taking. So I'm parked at the hotel, rode through town. It was a madhouse. As usual, if you know India, you know how the roads are. I'm gonna load it up tomorrow morning. Now I need to get uh, to a decathlon uh, sport, sports store where they have, I'm gonna look for uh, actually a, a rain cover for one of my bags. Now, isn't that insane? Just like any other mall that you'd see in the West. Modern, like any other mall in the, in the States. So the extreme differences between the rich and the poor, very extreme uh, gaps. And I guess you see that everywhere in the world now. So, good morning. I slept okay. This ro room, uh, hotel room is pretty disgusting to say the least. I've been to better places. So, I wake up to this news that the road to from Chandigarh to Manali has been blocked for 24 hours because of monsoon rains and thousands of tourists have been stranded 24 hours on the road due to landslides. Landslides roads have been blocked. Kind of slightly, slightly I'm concerned. Kind of scary. It's my first time actually tackling this kind of weather, you know, in this, in this wilderness. Got all the gear ready, spoke to my buddy. He says, you know what? If it's not raining hard, just start rolling and start making your way. I got about 300 kilometers to Manali, which is around 200 miles. It's not a long distance, but, uh, but the roads, but it's a twisty road and in the mountains and stuff like that. So it's a bit sketchy, scary. I, the truth is I don't know what to expect. Slightly concerned, gonna strap up the motorcycle for the first time and hit the road. Some breakfast, hard boiled eggs. <clears throat> Just finished toast and we're gonna hit the road. That's what the bike looks like. First tightening in, I'll sure I'll find a different method once I get the hang of it. For now, it looks good. My Sedici waterproof. This is uh, my 90 liter bag with all the clothes and the rain cover that I got yesterday at the mall. 
Got the GoPro ready. Brought this with me, the uh, quad lock from uh, the States. And obviously, my Beyond Riders protective. Wearing my Beyond Riders jeans. Representing holy shift. It's so hot, it's already close to 85 degrees. And it's just uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Let's hit the road so I get some air on my body. The insanity is riding through the cities, through the villages. It's crazy traffic. It's insane. I'm just leaving Chandigarh on my way to Manali. I've got uh, 280 kilometers to go. I'm probably going to do it in two days because we're expecting more uh, rain, crazy rain coming down. Monsoon air, uh, monsoon season. Fifty kilometers out of Chandigarh, been riding for about an hour, an hour and a half. I do an average of uh, 45 kilometers per hour, although the speed restriction here is 80 kilometers per hour. But as a foreigner, you're a foreigner. You're, I recommend you go 10 below. It's extremely hot. I didn't prepare, like I didn't know what to prepare for, so I brought my Kevlar line flannel. You know, thinking about the high altitudes where I'm going to be really cold. It was either that or the mesh, but mesh is would be great here. But once I hit the, the higher altitude, the higher elevation, it's going to be really cold. Thankfully, I've got a lot of ventilate, venting over here, ventilation. But um, I'm really, really hot. I'm going to rest a little bit and continue. I'm making good progress. As long as there's no rain and it's good weather, I prefer to push as much as I can towards Manali. Traffic is not, not, uh, not congested, but crazy. People, the way they ride over here. To them, it's standard. For me, it's like, I don't want to say new, but it's it's nerve-wracking. You have to use your horn, all all your mirrors, move your uh, head every every time. The main thing is just hold your lane. Don't don't surprise anybody, because as you're riding on your, taking your lane, you've got two motorcycles passing you from each side as well. It's a lot of getting used to. The biggest uh, suggestion I can say is, don't go fast, don't go fast. You got a lot of time for correcting a uh, mess up. So let me drink something and go. Starting to climb higher in elevation. Over those mountains. Over those mountains. Apparently the main road, the Manali is closed. So they're taking us through a detour. Crazy, huh? Just had to stop for a second. We got to uh, one of the peaks, not sure where, but look at that, that view down there. Coming up, twisties, like unbelievable. Crazy traffic, slow traffic. We came all the way down, up from that lower part, and there's some kind of a lake or uh, a river. Now we're heading down there. Let me show you the passage we just went through. This is on the other side. Look at the views. We just stopped on the way over here. The rest and to take some amazing pictures. Like the views here are crazy.
of people pass each other over here. The views and sceneries here are, here are breathtaking. The only thing is the traffic is scary, scary the way they drive. is do I stop over here and continue to Anali? What do you say? I'm gonna push a few more miles. Little town, little city of Mandi. Beautiful views, beautiful. Riding for like four hours. Look at my face, look how dirty it is. Look at my hands. That's how much fumes and diesel. There's, but look, it's by, just by the river. And stop, have some, I'm um, two thirds of the way there. So I might just push it. Let me just stop rest a little bit. I'm riding along this uh, river. This is all uh, water that comes from all the monsoons and uh, uh, snow defrosting from the Himalayas. As always, it's food time, right? You love food. Paneer kati roll, which is uh, some kind of a roll with paneer is the cheese inside. I asked for not, not too hot because I, I can't bear the, how hot the food, how spicy the food is. And a milkshake. Well-deserved meal. See, all this came down last last few days from the mountain. Walk, walk the whole road. Look at the road. The boulders on the right. That one is just waiting to fall. Fuck me. See that one? Right there. Gotta get the fuck out of here.
boulders landslides. To now, I wasn't wearing gloves. It was too hot and I felt that I didn't need them. Mainly, it was too hot. Motorcycles don't pay for toll booths, so I, so I passed from the right and when I got, got onto the shoulder, even very slowly, the bike uh, fell slightly. I dropped it, I jumped off. The handlebars I didn't even touch. A guy that was standing there just helped me pick it up. I said, thank you, and I kept going. Then I realized, no matter what, I mean, I jumped, I was on my feet. But no matter what, I want to have my gear with me. So I put my Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge uh, sport, sport glove. It's, it's pretty ventilated, so short and protective and ventilated. Let me tell you something that I think we all know, but this morning when I saw the news, I read the news article, I was really concerned. Because first of all, I didn't know what to expect to. And when I read, it said, you know, thousands of tourists stranded on the roads for 24 hours, landslide, five killed. So uh, news does great. You know what news does? The best scares us. And it scared me. I wasn't sure what to expect. And I got to tell you, in real life, what I went through today, nothing compared to what I was uh, expecting. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not easy peasy but it was nothing compared to what I was expecting. Anyway, you know, at home, we, we know the news at home is I can smell bullshit away from a mile, but I'm not home, so I didn't know what to expect. I, I listened to the news. The news proved to be news again. It's just fear-mongering tool just to get us, you know, to, to be engaged and to be, fe and to, and to be scared. Let's continue. At the stop. I'm like t uh, 10 minutes away, 20 minutes away from Kulu. Kulu is uh, 50 kilometers away from Manali. This I decided to stop at Kulu because it's going to be dark in an hour, so there's no point continuing. The whole time I've been riding in this valley where there's the Reas, that's the Reas uh, River over there. Let me show you, that's the scenery. In the valley, been going in the valley every once in a while. I go up and down a peak. It's not a high elevation peak, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a pass that I have to go through. And the Royal Enfield Himalayan is doing a great job. It's been running for the last eight and a half hours straight, pretty much. I, I was expecting it to be cold. Apparently it's gonna be only cold the next, the next two, two, three days when we uh, get into higher elevations. Now it's just, it's just hot. It's like 80 degrees and I'm with, with my Beyond Riders flannel, I'm wearing their protective jeans with pads. Indy Ridge, Indy Ridge boots, the crow, I love them. 
and I put the Andy Ridge sport sporty gloves on just now and I'm uh, I'm way too hot way too hot even though I open up the vents over here under my armpits and I'm going with the jacket completely open I'm just too hot but better be hot and protected than uh, not protected at all I just checked in after 10 and a half hours, 320 kilometers. I decided that I'll get myself a nice room. I deserve it. And I got myself a room. Amazing view, amazing view. You gotta see this. I only know how to open this. The nicest room. I just had to get a view of this. So this is my chill day, day two, since I was able, I pushed yesterday, I was able to make, make it all the way over to Manali. And one day, my buddy was, uh, we were supposed to meet up here today, afternoon. So I have pretty much a free day over here. Uh, staying the day over here, relaxing a little bit in Manali. I meet up with my buddy, he's, he's coming through one of the passes and we'll plan our day for tomorrow. So that's it guys, that was day number one of my, uh, Himalayan trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next uh, video, next few days of day two, heading up north. I'll tell you the destination later on when I know. Stay tuned, guys. Watching Holy Shift, I'm Sandy. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye.